Welcome to another episode of the Collector's Review. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I picked up from the C2E2 Comic Con. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of the Collector's Review. In this episode, I'm going through everything I scooped up at the C2E2 Comic Con this uh, past year right now. So I've been trying to get to this, but haven't had the chance with all the coronavirus stuff and everything like that. So I decided, hey, might as well take you guys through it right now and go through all the toys that I scooped up. I scooped up some nice stuff. And if you know, the Collection Dimension brings you everything that has to do with collectibles. This is the shop right here that I'm in that I'm showing you guys some of these toys. So check out the other videos and like always, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button for your boy trying to get to 6,000. So let's start off with showing you guys what I got. A little bit of, I got uh, Evil Dead 2. This one, uh, I scooped up both of these. They were asking 35 each. So this is the San Diego Comic Con one. They're asking 35 each, and the guy gave them both to me for 30 bucks a piece. So that was real nice San Diego Comic Con version. So real dope to catch. I got I caught some nice stuff there. Um, and a lot of stuff like this right here. Yes, that is the Fallout helmet. I don't know if you guys checked out the other video that I did of the custom that I did. I made this custom right here. That's what it looked like and everything I made that custom right there so if you guys ain't check out that video I unboxed it but I ended up getting two of these bad boys I stopped at a GameStop the GameStop was closing down and they sold them to me for 30 bucks so I was very happy with that gonna do those customs so then we got yes the boy the Marvel Legends Red Hulk that everybody's been tripping about and going crazy about I was able to scoop him up at a Target then I was able to let me get him out the way real quick then I was able to scoop this bad boy right here, the uh, Masters of the WWE Universe, and this is the Grey Skull Mania, comes with the ring, and then John Cena and Triple H, I caught that for, where is it, nine bucks, yeah, I got like five of them, so that was uh, very nice to catch, then at the show too, I caught this, this was at a Walmart, sorry, so that was on the Walmart on the trip. So then I got this Umbrella Corp at the show. This is pretty dope. I know with everything going on and the viruses, nobody want to hear about this, but <laughs> this is the Umbrella Corp. This is the first one. The T-Virus. Then you got T-Virus 2 and T-Virus 3. Green, blue, and red. Really thought those were dope pieces to grab, so I scooped those up. Let me close that up real quick. Umbrella Corp. Put that to the side. Then I ended up scooping up my Rick with the crystal ball, the last one I needed. I got the Fallout Nuka Cola Thirst Zapper. Zapper. That was free uh, when you spent 50 at this one table. And I was able to get the Joker, the Titan Joker, man. Look at that bad boy. I scooped up him pretty cheap. So I grabbed him. And I grabbed Clayface. The head fell off on that one, but it's still in there. But you see Joker's face. So I was able to grab that Clayface. The top is damaged. Um, you can probably see right there. The top is damaged, but I caught both of them for 140 bucks. I got Chucky right here. Deluxe Edition. Thought that was pretty dope. Love how the face looks and everything. So I grabbed two of them. And I grabbed those for $30 a piece. Thought that was a good deal. Was able to get my hands on the Cosmic Ghost Rider. I've been looking for him for a little while now. So I was happy to get him and the Red Hulk. So that was pretty dope to scoop up. Grabbed this one. This was at the Comic-Con too. I got this free at the Bandai table for uh, getting a color marble come popping out. Then we have... The Marvel Unlimited Venomized Punisher box. I grabbed a couple of those. Um, those were nice to get. They had those if you signed up. I don't know if you guys checked the unboxing. I unbox it and go through what's in there. Then I grabbed the Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and Bardock. And like I said, I got those 30% off because uh, that GameStop was closing. 
Then I got these for 40 bucks at the Comic-Con. Somebody had them there. I thought that was real dope. I love the Dragon Ball Z balls, and these are nice size and everything to them. Then we got Raiden. This one I got from that GameStop 2, 30% off. Then these bad boys, the Back to the Future, scooped two of these. These were 40 bucks, man. And this is the deluxe one that comes with the flame and the out of time and then the box in the back. So that was real nice. I've caught these before for 40 and sold them for like 100. Then at the uh, GameStop, I grabbed the Metroid. This is the Metroid uh, handgun replica, and I was able to scoop him for 23 bucks. This is like a $50, $60 one, and there's another one under there, so I'm going to actually repaint it and make it more uh, make it more metallic looking. Then I was able to get the uh, DC Multiverse Superman and Batman action figure, and yes, I caught those for 30% off at that uh, GameStop. I was very lucky to get these and still have those there. Then I hit a Walgreens up and yes, I was able to get three of the Stepford Kukos. So I was happy, very happy with that. I thought that was very dope to be able to get all three of them. I already had all three of them, but $10 a piece, you can't beat that. Then I was able to get the Marvel Legends uh, Punisher helmet of uh, Iron Man. I scooped this up at the GameStop too, and at the GameStop it was 60 bucks because it was 40% uh, off because I think it was originally 100 And then I also was able to scoop up the White Ranger helmet. And the reason I took the White Ranger helmet with me actually is because if you pan over here, let me come over here by the arcades, just got this bad boy in too. Uh, came over here by the arcades. And yes, I got it signed by Jason David Frank. So I think that is very dope. I got this one. He did one in white, one autograph in white, and then he did the other one in gold. So that was a very nice one to catch. So that was about everything. I grabbed this one too, the White Ranger. I was going to get a sign by him, but I figured it would be better to get the helmet signed by him. And then I also had some comic books. The Marvel table had these. This one is like $125 now. I got it for $25. Bucks. Very dope Wolverine cover. I got that at the Marvel booth. And then I scooped up the Rick and Morty Lenticular number one cover. And I didn't even know they had this. So you see, this is the number one original. And then this is the... the uh, reprint with uh, Mr. Poopy Butthole on there. So I, man, I thought this was very, very dope to catch. And that's about it. I'm probably going to be doing an unboxing on the Chucky and everything. And probably the Batman and the Superman. So make sure you guys keep your eyes open. And keep peeping out for the videos that I'm going to be dropping. I'm going to be trying to stick with you through this coronavirus crap. And giving you guys as many videos as I got. And make sure you guys check out the other videos. I got videos of the store. Videos on unboxing the Joker. I unbox a lot of stuff. So, till next time, this is The Collection Dimension, and we out. Collector's Review. Peace.